sun off, and I live in the land of fun. <laughs> a moving painting. How did they get the tiny people in the box? Ruthie likes it, don't you? You like these toasty oats. All kids love oats. Yo! <laughs> so you're like the real Commander Melanoff. You're famous. Well, maybe. <laughs> I do make every tasty treat myself. Do you live here alone, or...? Yes, uh, uh, I did. Uh, Ruth moved in, and she needs a lot of attention. Of course she does. Don't you, baby girl? How could something so tiny make so much poop? I haven't slept in nine days. Oh, that explains a lot. I called Orphan Services for help, but... Orphan Services? No, you shouldn't have called them. Well, I mean... Find an orphan you don't know. Call. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. No! <laughs> Giving a baby to them is like locking a puppy up in a cage. Oh, my. I love puppies. It's a good thing I hung up then. Oh, you did. You see, I've grown fond of her childish needs. I want her to stay. Okay, but... This factory isn't baby-proofed. She can't just eat candy for the rest of her life. I mean, next thing you know, she's going off to college. She could, she could be a doctor. Maybe she'll write the next Moby Dick. Or paint the next Mona Lisa. Fly an airplane to the moon. I mean, she could, she could be the next president. You know, and then you're gonna have to go to the White House and maybe not wear a candy suit. You know, it's, it's a lot. That sounds sweet. It's time for this candy man to become a family man. Who also makes candy. Well, if you ever need help, you know who to call. Oh, uh, the service for orphans. What? No, skinny bones. You could, you could call me. You know, I, I'm a nanny. I, I will. Just put your number in there and... Uh, if you ever need a candy pack. <laughs> Yay, the perfect home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> will it be so wonderful? Here, son, catch. <laughs> Is it a hug? I don't know. But I like it.